Within these two different groups, there are many different clouds. However, as a pilot, we only can need to concern ourselves with 10 to 11 different clouds in particular. These clouds can be divided up into three different groups, depending whether they're low, medium or high in the sky. The first lot of clouds we will look at are high clouds and have a base above 20,000 feet. They are usually thin, but may thicken considerably in lower altitudes. As pilots, there are three different clouds in the high cloud group that we need to concern ourselves with. These are cirrocumulus, cirrostratus, and cirrus. Cirrocumulus clouds have a thin white patch sheet or layer of cloud without shading. They are composed of very small elements in the form of grains or ripples that are joined together or separated and more or less regularly arranged. They are formed via turbulence. The cloud composition is mainly ice crystals, but occasionally may have water droplets or a mix of both. They have nil significant weather associated with them. The turbulence is usually nil to light in the cloud and moderate when the cloud has a globular appearance. You do not need to worry about icing with the cloud and the visibility is usually about a thousand meters in the cloud. They have zero effect on VFR flight and are always have a base above 20,000 feet. The next type of cloud in the high category is cirrostratus. These are transparent white veils of fibrous or smooth appearance that totally or partially cover the sky and can often cause a halo phenomena like what you can see in the picture. Cirrostratus clouds are formed by widespread ascent and frontal lifting. They are composed mostly of ice crystals and have nil weather associated with them that as pilots we need to be concerned about. Turbulence in the cloud is nil to light. Icing is nil. Visibility is generally over 1000 meters in the cloud and they have no effect on VFR flight. Once again, being a cloud in a high category, they have a base above 20,000 feet. The last type of cloud we're going to talk about in the high category is cirrus clouds. These are detached clouds in the form of white delicate filaments. They are usually white and are patches or narrow bands. They have the appearance of streaks from a paintbrush or wispy hair. Once again, they are formed by widespread ascent and frontal lifting and composed mostly of ice crystals. As pilots, there is nil weather that we need to be concerned about that is associated with them. In the cloud, the turbulence is usually nil, but very occasionally can be light. It has nil icing associated with it in the cloud, and in the cloud has a visibility of over 1000 meters. It has no effect on VFR flight. Other than that, the only comment to make is turbulence will be much greater if the cloud is associated with a jet stream. An anvil cirrus will indicate the presence of a cumulonimbus below and again the turbulence may be greater due to the presence of the cumulonimbus.